Hey, how's it going? So today I thought I would share with you this awesome black rainbow makeup look that I am really having a lot of fun with. So I used to do like rainbow and sunset eyeshadow all the time and it seems like it's been years and I've been kind of in the same rut of doing the same eyeshadow every day, black and brown on my eyes and maybe a lipstick, maybe not if I'm even going to wear lipstick. And I really wanted to just sit down and play with some color. So that's what we're going to do. Let's get started. I'm starting with my foundation already on and my eyebrows done and I'm just going to put on some chapstick to attempt to soften my lips enough for lipstick later. Tuck my hair away from my face and the first thing I always do is apply my Urban Decay Primer Potion. I love this stuff. I wear it every single time I do my makeup. It's my go-to, it's my only, my one and only <laughs> eyeshadow primer and it's beautiful. It basically waterproofs your eyes, tear proofs them for sure. So I like to bring it underneath my eyes like that. Because you never know when you're going to burst into tears. Best to be ready, just in case. Also really great if you live somewhere hot. It keeps your eyeshadow from melting off. I'm going in with the shade Talk from my Morphe Bronzed Mocha Palette as my transition shade and I run that all along the lower edge of my brow bone. I do that instead of running it in the actual crease because my crease is a lot lower. So that would make my eyes appear a lot smaller. So this is a really useful trick to give yourself maximum lid space and make your eyes appear a lot larger than they are. I always like to lay in the color really lightly at first and then go back and build it up. With a smaller crease brush, I go in with a slightly darker brown shade. In this case, it's called Most from the same palette and this just adds some depth. This is NYX's Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk, and I'm gonna put it all over the lid. It makes a really great base for bright colors. I apply it almost all the way up to the darker shade of brown, and then blend it out. Now it's time for the rainbows, and I'm using my 88 Coastal Sense palette. I've had this thing for ages, since YouTube first started and I watched my very first makeup tutorials. This is what everybody used and I've just never run out. Otherwise, I would definitely recommend the Morphe 35B Color Burst eyeshadow palette because that's what I would buy now and uh, it's got a beautiful range of rainbow colors. But I'm going to start with the yellow in my palette and place that on the inner corners of my eyelids. I'm also going to add this yellow mica that I got at one of those mall kiosks a long time ago. They got me for one of their makeovers and uh, I ended up buying some eyeshadows. And it's lasted a long time and it's really beautiful color payoff. So I'm going to add that right on top of the yellow that I just put down. Next I'm going to add an orange from the same palette in a stripe right next to the yellow. Basically what I'm going to do is just lay out all my colors first pack on a lot of shadow, and don't worry too much about blending the colors together yet because we're going to go back and do that later. Right now you just want to get all your colors down. I decided to add Venus on top of that from my BH Cosmetics Galaxy Chic Palette just because I liked the shade of the orange a little bit better. I'm using pink instead of red for my next rainbow color and it's this awesome hot pink shade called Post Haste from MAC. And now that the candle is finally lit, we can move on to our next shade, which is purple. And I'm using one from the 88 palette because I really don't have the shade that I want. I've got a lot of purple eyeshadows, but the dark ones all have terrible color payoff. I don't know why good purple eyeshadow is so hard to find, but if I could, I would be using a deep eggplant color right here. Though my Makeup Revolution Give Them Darkness palette has terrible purples, it has absolutely beautiful blues. So I'm going to be using the shades Afraid and Hell and adding those to the outer corners of my eyes. Now for the blending, I'm going to be using Q-tips from here on out to apply more color and to blend out the edges from one color to the next. They really make it easy to switch back and forth between colors and blend as you see fit and they actually hold eyeshadow really well. This is really easy, it just takes a long time so you just have to be patient. Use the Q-tips to add more shadow and blur the lines where the colors meet and create that blend. 
and it helps to use little tiny circular or zigzag motions to swirl the colors together. And eventually you'll have this nice, beautiful gradient of rainbow. See the difference? Now that everything's nice and blended, I'm going to add a light turquoise color to the inner half of my lower lash line. Then I'm adding a medium green to the outer half, and these are both from the Coastal Scents 88 palette. Now I'm going back in with my original transition shade, and I'm going to use that to blend out the edges of the color all the way around my eyes. Here I'm just using a larger crease brush to just kind of blend it out a little bit more. Next I'm going to draw on a big old black wing with my liquid eyeliner. This one is just a Revlon Colorstay liquid eye pin. Next I'm taking the blackest eyeshadow ever, Anastasia Beverly Hills' Noir, and I'm adding that in the very corner of my eyelid where my eyeliner and the eyeshadow meet. And I'm just kind of forming that into a little V and bringing the black up into the crease. I'm going to blend the edges of that out just a little bit and then I'm going to take an angled liner brush and very carefully bring the black line up and around into a cut crease to frame all of the colors. Now I can go back in with my transition shade and blend that out. And I do that multiple times to build up the colors. I'm going to finish off my eyes by lining my waterline with NYX's black eye pencil and I always set that and smudge it out with more black eyeshadow. And then I'm going to add my mascara which is just Maybelline's, I believe it's called the Colossal but uh, the name gets rubbed off immediately so I can never remember. For contour, I'm using the center color in my Makeup Revolution Light and Shade palette, which is the dupe for Kat Von D's Light and Shade. And I'm not the greatest with contour, I just kind of smudge it on there and hope it gives me cheekbones. <laughs> I still feel like I have a lot to learn, but I think I do okay. But highlight's easy and fun, and it just so happens that Milky Way from the Galaxy Chic palette makes an awesome highlight. It's a light lavender toned shimmer and it's so pretty. NYX's lip pencil in Blackberry is going to line my lips. And Kat Von D's Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in Witches is going to fill them in. I realized last minute that I could add some extra sparkle to my eyeshadow, so I did. For the purple, I used Urban Decay's Moondust Eyeshadow in Ether, and for the blue, I used Bare Minerals Loose Eye Color in El If I Know. Yeah, that's what it's called. <laughs> it's really beautiful though. sleep in it this time you say maybe I'll take off everything else but I'll leave my eyeshadow <laughs> thanks so much for hanging out and doing my makeup with me I hope you had a good time I hope you're inspired to do something pretty no matter what it is makeup or not let me know what you think and let me know if there are any particular makeup looks that you would like to see me try 
Share this video with someone that you think may also enjoy it. Leave a like and uh, I'll talk to you in the comments. I'll see you soon. Bye.